Wow, what's up guys? And welcome back to Madman Music. Today, we are moving back into the studio. Very excited about this, been talking about this for a little while, and I cannot wait to make this space a functional space again. Now that everything is sort of a clean slate, it's nice in here, it's comfortable, everything is painted, yeah, you know, it's, I'm a little tall for this space, but that's okay. As long as I'm not hunched over too much, we'll be okay. Today, we're gonna talk about desk placement, where you should put your desk, what kind of room you have, and how you should start to treat it so that it works best for your audio experience. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What's up guys, and welcome back to Madman Music. Today we are moving back into the studio. Already as you can see, it's much brighter in here. There's less need for so much light. I am using a light to kind of fill the room. You can already see that this is gonna be a much better environment for making videos and content. And by God, is it gonna be easier for me to edit. <sighs> Thank God. But the first order of business when moving back into a studio space or creating a studio space is of course, where are you gonna put the desk? Where are you going to set up shop that sounds the best, that works the best in the room? Right now we hear lots and lots and lots of echo and room resonance. These are some of the things that we want to try to tame or control in some ways. And this little home studio video series is going to really hone in on how to take care of those particular problems in a space. There's concrete floors, there's concrete walls, everything in this room is concrete, flat surfaces. It is the worst environment to try to build a studio in. It's honestly very difficult. A much more ideal situation would be having a larger room to work with. But in most cases, like in my case, we don't have that space. We don't have a larger room to work with. So most of us are building studios in our bedrooms, in our garages, in our basements. Let's tackle how to make this space workable step by step and make it so that you can utilize the space to the best of your ability and have it give you a really, really good, comfortable place to be creative. That's the point. So let's get into it. The first thing that we need to do is measure our room. So let's get to measuring. <laughs> All right, so I've measured the room out and I have a measurement of 380 centimeters by 370 centimeters. So my room is slightly rectangular, but mostly square. Now, again, this isn't ideal. You want a room that's mostly rectangular. This would work out the best because it gives you enough space for the waveforms to go through their entirety and to actually dissipate naturally on their own. In this particular case, we're gonna have to use what we have, like most of us do. So, the first thing we're gonna do is use what's called the rule of thirds, right? Or the 38% rule. And that rule is, if you take the length of the room and take 38% of it, this would be the optimum space for your listening position as far as the walls go in your room. So let's get that set up now. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are seated in the center of the room. If you need to use a tape measure and measure out your room and make marks or put little pieces of tape, do that. You wanna make sure that you're dead center on the main wall, the short wall, not lengthwise, but widthwise. And then from there, what you wanna make sure that you do is you use that 38% measurement so that you will set your listening position where you're actually going to be seated to hear what's coming out of your monitors. That should be 38 or so percent of the room. Now that's gonna put me very well in the middle of the room, which again, 
is also not exactly ideal, but luckily in this particular room, it's gonna be made and set up specifically so that I could have a desk in here to listen to audio and to work. So it's okay if I'm in the middle of the room. That's exactly what I designated this room for. If we go ahead and measure from here, 38% of my 380 centimeters is about 144 centimeters and a half or so, but we can just round it at about 145. Now my seating position is gonna be this far away from the wall, which in retrospect is not really that bad. I don't feel like I'm too terribly far away from the wall, and I think that the desk will fit nicely in here and it doesn't, it won't feel so much like I'm sitting in the center of the room. Let's go ahead and move this desk in here and see how it works out. Now that we've got the desk in the room, we want to make sure that it's centered on both sides width-wise. And then we're going to make sure that we have the proper depth from the wall for our seated listening position. So let's measure this out and let's make sure that we've got it in the right place. And once again, it's perfectly okay to whip out the tape measure and make sure that everything is exactly where you need it to be. For instance, on both sides of the desk, if you wanna make sure that you are in the correct position, measure from the wall to the edge of the desk and measure both sides of the desk to make sure that the distance between the desk and the wall is the same across the entire desk. So here we have about 40 centimeters. 40, 30 centimeters right here. And what this distance will do right about here, it puts me in the listening seated position at about 145 centimeters. So this would be the perfect place for my desk. Well, let's start bringing some things in and putting stuff on it. And then we're going to talk about monitors and how those should be set up. Let's get into it. One of the most important things to consider when setting up your desk is actually the placement of your monitors. Where these are setting is incredibly important to how the information reaches your ears. Now we put so much effort into making sure that the desk was centered in the room and then also a certain percentage away from the wall so that the sound can move appropriately. But here we are, we have these monitors and unfortunately at the moment, I don't have what I need in order to put them in the most ideal place, which would actually be behind the desk on some speaker stands, probably about here, so that in the listening space is an actual triangle between me and the two monitors. But for now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we are using some Oralux sort of diffusion uh, foam. This allows the speaker to be sort of isolated from the desk. It sort of separates it. Even though it's sitting on the desk, the foam absorbs all of the vibration that goes into the desk. This creates a little bit of a different sound. When your speakers are isolated and they're able to freely give you the information that they're trying to give you, the sound is much clearer. It's much more of a flat sound, which is what you want. So in my case, unfortunately, I have to set it up with a bit of a wide triangle for now, but when we make a video about speaker stands, we'll talk more in depth about that. One really easy and effective way to know that you've lined up your speakers correctly as you're adjusting them on your desk is to actually set up something that would be in the position that you would be sitting, and then come from the other side and adjust it so that the line of sight is perfectly with you and the speaker. It's the easiest way to make sure that you're in that perfect position. Just set something there so that you know where that position is. Easy. All right, 
So I can't stress it enough, it's really important to make sure that you set your desk in the correct position in the room so that you can have the best audio experience possible. So you wanna go lengthwise, not widthwise, lengthwise. Shortest side of the room, shortest wall, shoot it across. This way all of the sound waves can sort of die out before they reflect back at you and then you hear these reflections. So it's really simple to do that. Just make sure that you map out the, the room exactly the way that we explained in this video. If this video was helpful, do me a massive favor, hit the like button, tell me down in the comments whether or not this stuff worked out well for you. And as always, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, please head over to teespring.com slash Madman Music Merch Store, whatever the hell it's called, there's a link in the description, and pick yourself up some swag. Snag you some swag, because it helps this channel out greatly, and, uh, you know, keeps things going. So, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace! Go through their entire length before that they, so that they can, uh, what the f is the word? I can't even think.